Taser, 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 taser. Send like a 21, I got one running from me down the highway, dispatch. Uh, well, now you're going to jail. Hey. Ow. 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 Hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Why is there an ambulance involved in this chase? Tackle him. He did it. Put him into a pole. We got him. Send like a 21 rollover crash my location dispatch. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. And today, we are headed out with the Rockford Hills Police Department. It has been quite a while since we have gone out with Rockford Hills because I didn't have any vehicles I really liked for them. But this uh, Rockford Hills uh, 2011 CVPI came out recently and I figured this would be a great time to get back into doing Rockford Hills and get the car switched out. Uh, I was thinking about switching back out for the Ohio cars uh, since I liked them and then these came up and so figured I'd, or this came up, so I figured I'd use it instead. Uh, beyond that, it's going to be a pretty normal episode. We're going to take calls, we're going to do traffic, we're going to see what we can get into, and we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got citizens reporting an attempted arson attack on a uh, Rockford Drive. Yeah, we'll take that. Witnesses saw the suspect is carrying a jerry can. Okay. It's Bunko 2. No, I don't think so. Jesus, this car is bouncy. It's clearly the handling line I have for it, but... Right. Let's go ahead and get down here and see what's going on. <laughs> 10 Lincoln 21, I'm in the area, dispatch. Roger that. Out of the way, doofus. All right, let's see if we can find someone carrying a jerry can. This is going to be, it's a pretty big area to search, too. Let's go look down this way. Right out, right out in front of the Pete. There, there, I found him, apparently. Please speak to the suspect. Press Y to reveal dialogue. All right, this is our guy right here. 10 Lincoln 21, I think I got our guy here, dispatch. 10 4, copy that. Not carrying a jerry can now. Hey, dude. Hello, sir. Where are you headed to? Um, just headed to my friend's house. May I know why, what you're gonna do there? I need to let him know that the fire. What the fuck? Shots fired. Give it up, dude. Uh, Give it up, man. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down right now. Well, I don't know about your friend and the fire being hot, but your ass is done, man. Don't move. Don't move. Anyone got a fix on him? Yeah, he's right here. He's right Come here. You point now. your rifle at him. 10 Lincoln 21, show one in custody. Copy that. All right, we're gonna... Check up for 10 Lincoln 21. Stop, everybody. Uh, no need for checks. Roger. All right, we got this guy here. Yeah, we shot him a couple times, but I mean, GTA doesn't actually matter if they got bullets in him, so he'll talk to us for a little bit. Thanks for your help, guys. I appreciate it. We ended up getting him under control pretty easily. Shot us in the vest a couple times. Let's go ahead and just pull up on the sidewalk here. Alright, let's get him patted down, see if he's got anything else going on. Alright, man, don't move. Don't do anything dumb. You already got a bullet in you. Several, actually. Okay, so he's got a handgun, a petrol can, and a lighter. This is, uh, Dion. Dion, really, but we're going to go with Dion Banks. All right, man. What'd you do that for, man? Why'd you attack me? Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know exactly who you are, stupid. Why'd you attack me? Jesus, dude. All right. All right, come on, man. Pretty cut and dry here, really. Just going to put him in the back of my car. We'll take him to the hospital at some point. I'm not real worried about it. All right, man, have a seat. Don't do anything dumb. Let's check his record. No record. Got nothing. This guy's just a guy. 20 years old. Uh, it's a smoky violation. That's it. Just fucking just tried to straight up kill us for no reason. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I think I'll charge him with attempted arson just based on his statement of the fact he's carrying gasoline around. But uh, 
That's going to pale in comparison to the attempted murder and felonious assault charges he's about to catch. So, yeah, going to get him booked, and then we'll get back out there. A naked person, huh? Okay. 10 Lincoln 21, uh, I'll handle that dispatch. 10 4. This is from uh, Copper Callouts. So they're right down here. I haven't done any of these yet, so let's go see here. Here's our person. They don't look very naked. 10 Lincoln 21, show me out with them, dispatch. 10 4. Hey, bud. What are you doing out here in the here. road, man? Why is my gun out? All right, man, hey, why don't we, uh... People are dilated, probably under the influence, all right? Hey, man, why don't we step over here out of the road, okay? Just, just right in front of my car so we don't get hit. I don't want to get hit by a car, okay? So, all right. So what are you, uh... What are you doing out here, man? Please mind your own effing business. Well, I mean, you know, I would. I would mind my own business if you weren't standing in the middle of the road when I pulled up dodging cars. So... We've been using drugs, man. Yes, but I have a medical condition and a prescription. Okay. Well, sure, but what drugs are you on? Whippets. Okay, you can't have a prescription for whippets, my guy. Oh, God. Do you, uh, do you have anything illegal on you, man? You're not answering? Okay. Well, that's fine, man. Turn around put your hand on your back for me. Check up for 10, Lincoln, 21. I'm okay. No need for checks. 10, 4. No need for checks. Roger that. Alright, so you're not under arrest, man. I am just detaining you at this time, but I am going to go ahead and patch down because I do have you for, you know, being out here impeding traffic and whatnot, so. If he's got anything on him, and also, I mean, he's, he's intoxicated quite clearly. That justifies a pat down. So he's got a Pacific Standard credit card, a Colt Python, a plane ticket to Liberty City, a Browning High Power, and a High Point. He's got three guns! This guy has three guns. This is James Monroe. Dude, you have three fucking guns on you. I, I asked if you had... It doesn't look like you don't have, you, you, you have a gun permit either, though we really don't know that yet. But anyway, you have three fucking guns on you, man. Where'd you get these guns? I don't have to answer that. No, you're right. You don't have to answer that. By the way, you are now under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't will be against you in a court of law. Right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, want to be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Understand your rights. What does that mean? Well, you already invoked your Fifth Amendment, right? And that's the one you really need to understand. So I'm pretty sure you understand just fine. So that being said, man, where'd you go? Uh, what, what are you carrying all these guns for? Fuck you. Oh, okay. You're carrying all these guns because fuck me? Is that a threat? Were you going to mess me up with those guns? Am I charging you with menacing now, too? That's a that's a stretch. So, all right, man. Have a seat in the back of my car here. Crazy guy out in the middle of the road, man. See if he's got a warrant or anything. 10 Lincoln 21, show this guy in custody, dispatch. Roger, 10 Lincoln 21. Alright. No, no warrants, he's valid and clear, 23 years old, open container of alcohol, so yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cite him. Uh, I'll just do it on screen. Sometimes people like to see that, so... First thing we're gonna do is he's getting... three counts of felony. We have to get all the way down to felony. This takes a minute. Um... F4, carrying a concealed weapon. Aggravated assault, assault. And okay, so one, two, three. Three counts of that. Um, that's actually probably pretty much it. He didn't have anything illegal on him. I'll write him a ticket for public intox, which really won't matter. But uh, let's see. I don't know if there's really anything, anything else we can really charge him with. Um... Yeah, no, I'm not going to charge him anything else. Just three guns. Um, the public in talks is what it is. So, all right. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for him then. So we're going to get him transported down to the jail, and then we'll uh, we'll get back on the road. Uh, walking around an apartment building on Douglas Street. Uh, trying to open all the doors. What's this idiot doing? Hey, nah, dipshit. Ten like a 21. Show me out with one. Copy that. Stop. Wait. I saw you. See your ID, man. Let's see some ID. Huh? I saw you just stand in the middle of the road blocking that car. Nah, dude, you're not. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Down the ground. It's like Batista bombed him to the ground, dude. You wanna die? Stop. What you're doing Stop. Right now. Stop. Don't even do it, man. Put your hands in your head. Put your hands in your head. 10 Lincoln 21, show one in custody. 
Alright. So, what was not that all about, man? Day, yeah, really, not your lucky day, man. I don't know what that was all about. I saw him sitting up, just standing up here in the middle of the road blocking those cars. I mean, maybe he was fighting with the driver of that car or just being an asshole, man. But, alright, dude. So, why? What are you doing, man? Nothing. Yeah, I'd stand in the middle of the road, man. What What? What were you, uh, what were you doing that for? Just blocking those cars? You know, you're not free to go, man. You're under arrest. Uh, you're under arrest because you took off from me, man. Obstruction. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be against you in the court of law. Right, you're in court, uh, that you have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be planned to by the state of San Andreas. Um, it doesn't really matter. You pigs always, always violate people's rights. I mean, I'm sure that's how you feel about it. It's not true, but I'm sure that's how you feel. Why'd you run from me, man? Do you know who my dad is? I don't give a fuck who your dad is, son. Let's see here. Ain't you a little old to be threatening people with daddy? Anything illegal on you? Why are you being detained? Are you stupid? Hang on. Are you fucking stupid? I just told you you're under arrest. This is police brutality. No, but I can show you some police brutality if you like. So, alright, man. Well, I'm just gonna pat you down. Turn around. Let's see here. Let's see if he's got anything interesting on him. Nope. Tra Trevor Phillips industry business card, a far right wing flyer, a bottle of hands sanitizer, bikini uniform, seat, and an old parking ticket. Connor Johnson. All right, Connor, well, what'd you take off from before? He does have a concealed handgun permit, but he doesn't have a gun on him, so that's good for him. Come on, Connor. Fed up. Serious, pretty short encounters today, so that's kind of nice. The more varied things we can get in. Come on, man, I have a seat in the back of my car, dude. What a freaking dipshit. This guy ain't going for much. Just obstruction, really. Plus, he technically never told us his name. So, actually, actually, when they do that, they never technically told me their name. So, I can write them for fair to disclose ID information, too. Now that I think about it. Let's see. His license suspended. Did you run for me because your license is suspended? Because you weren't even driving a car, you, you colossal moron. So, all right. All right, well, let's go ahead and write him real quick. That'll be easy. Let's see here. Um, crimes against authority. That would be fair to disclose personal information. And... Uh, obstruction of official business. So he wasn't under arrest at that point, so and that's really gonna it's really gonna basically do it for him. So go ahead and submit that. We're done with him. And we're gonna take him to the jail and then we'll get back on the road. Citizens reporting target is carrying a weapon and five more heels. Yeah, we'll take that. Go ahead and head up that way. Units respond code three. Let's go ahead and get up here and see what's going on. It's actually kind of up in Vinewood Hills, but I, I would still consider this northern part of the hills part of Rockford Hills, really, but that's just me. 10 Lincoln 21, you can show me in the area, dispatch. 10 4, copy that. Rock 10 Lincoln in. 21. There they are. 10 Lincoln 21, I've got the caller in, dispatch. Roger. The truck needs to go somewhere. Hey, man. What's going on, bud? Hey, what's going on, man? A uh, girl wandering around with a gun. I'm so scared. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, I saw her a few blocks from here. I think she has a mental problem. Uh, all right, fine then. Please stay safe in your house. We'll handle this. You're an idiot. You didn't expect this, did you? Ha ha ha. Put it down, dude. Put it down. Put it down. Give it up, dude. Give it up. Look at this. Don't move, dude. Don't move. 10 Lincoln 21, start me a second unit immediately. I didn't think that would work. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter. Lincoln 21. I'm okay. Roger. You can cancel checks. We are close to Suspecting custody. I put a round no into his shoulder, but again, as we've learned, it's GTA, so it doesn't matter. So, turns out you were the one with the mental problem all along, man. What are you doing, dude? Why? Why? You have the right to shut the F up. Yeah, you do, man, but I'd really like to know. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I hate that it resets the Damn. menu when they walk up, but I guess it makes sense. Anyway. Um, why'd you do that, man? Why'd you why'd you try to kill me? Because you can? Well, you, clearly you can't, because I'm alive and you're in handcuffs. So, uh, let's see here. You have anything illegal on you, man? You know who I am? I'll have your job for this. No, I don't think you are. I really don't. I'm gonna patch you down, dude. Turn around. Yeah, you can see we winged him. 
We see we winged him and threw his aim off, and that's why he never hit us. So that's nice. Okay, he's got a can of peach snuff, a recently reported stolen broken. Um, high point C9, a business card for Scarbino, uh, Scarbino and Scarbino, or Scarbino, adult production. Several baggies taped to the subject's body, containing five kilograms of white powder in total. All right, so I did. I, I, I screwed this up last time. I thought they were all five kilograms apiece, and he was carrying 15 kilograms, because to me, several is three. But anyway, it's total of five kilograms of, of, of powder. So, all right. So, he had another gun. Where did you, uh... You know, I think I'm just going to say that the gun he had on it was the gun we recovered, honestly. Uh, I think that actually makes more sense in situations like this. Where'd you get this gun from, man? Bought it about six months ago. Yeah, well, it's stolen. So, bought a stolen gun, and he tried to kill me with a stolen gun. What do you even have it for, dude? Fuck you. Oh, okay, it's like that. All right, man. All right, you even got a permit for it? Doesn't matter. My second minute right will not be infringed. Oh, it's like that. Okay. All right, dude. You're... Okay. All right. Uh, so what about this white powder, man? What's this shit? Is this baking powder? You got baking powder? You got you got five kilograms of baking powder taped to your body? All right, man. Where'd you get the Where'd you get the baking powder? I ain't telling you nothing. All right. All right, man. All right. All right. Um. Actually, wait. In this case, we we can't say the gun. It's the same gun for the simple fact that it's broken, and I think he shot at us. So, all right, man. Have a seat in the back of my vehicle. So in that case, we'll get a we'll get carrying concealed weapon. That's two people who tried to kill us today. Rockford Hills is apparently a very dangerous place. Hey, Depp, thanks for coming out, man. I'm good. You. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. So I thought that was going to go a lot more sideways than it did. So, all right. Let's check his record. This is Jimmy DeVitrio. Okay, he's got quite the record. Arrest warrant for refusing, refusing to sign a traffic summons. But he's got... Priors for possession of marijuana, carrying a concealed firearm, uh, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and failure to stop after an accident. Just got priors going back to 2013. Um, I don't know how he got out. Well, I mean, 16, 17, 18. He could have got out in 18. That one wasn't going to put him in jail for long. Uh, 18. He might if he got the minimum sentence for that, he could be out now. I don't know how he's on on probation, but he got a warrant for refusing to, find, to sign a traffic summons. So okay. All right. Well, we're, I'm, I'm going to get him charged, and then we're going to. Uh, I think we have time for more. We're only at. We were only at 12 minutes before this clip, so we're probably around 20 now. So uh, we'll see. But anyway, we got time. Let's get back out there. Dispatch to any available central unit. Citizens report a drive-by attack on a. Uh, Looking for a silver JB 700, but it shouldn't be too hard to find the James Bond car. Lincoln 21, respond code three. Let's get out there and see what's going on. Hard to find the only Aston Martin in the game. I am by shooting in Rockford Hills, man. What are what are things coming to? Ten Lincoln Twenty One. I'm in the area. Dispatch. Roger. There's the vehicle right there. Uh, I'm gonna go after this guy. Ten Lincoln Twenty One. I got a vehicle running and a guy running on foot. Dispatch. 10-4. Time to stop, dude. Please. It's a bad day. Give it up! Stop what you're doing right now! Stop! Right now! Give it up, dude. Don't make me Dispatch, get a helicopter up on that vehicle right now! Helicopter, assistance required. Get down, man. Go to your knees. Go to your knees, dude. Go to your knees. Copy that. We're in the on your head. Do it now. We're gonna end up losing the vehicle. We got this guy though. Cause they're all around us for some reason. Alright, let's pat this guy down real quick. And then see if we can't go find him. I'm pretty sure I see, yeah, I see the X. Okay, so he's got a picture of a deceased recently killed a various Las Tecas gang member. Okay, these guys are out hitting uh, Las Tecas gang members. Ponder receipt and a pro-lapse receipt. So now we know who the targets were. This is uh, Bruce Dickinson. We're going to throw Bruce in the back of our car. We're going to go try to find that car. Come on, game. Any day now. Check up for cat. No need for 21. checks. 
Helicopter hasn't managed to find it yet. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find a car. We'll, we'll put some effort into it though. Let's go up here and see if we can actually find it. Uh, the helicopter's all the way up there. Nope, we lost him. 10 Lincoln 21, it looks like we've lost the vehicle dispatch. We've got uh, the passenger in custody. Copy that. We're just gonna go ahead and turn around here and find us a good place to stop. This person's driveway will do just fine. All right. Oh man, get out of the car. Let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna assume he was the shooter since he got out of the passenger side. All right, come on. We're gonna step up here now. Let's release him. All right, man. What did you do a drive-by for, man? You wouldn't understand. Yeah, I guess I don't understand the uh, the criminal world. Why'd you run from me? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, it didn't work out too well for you, though. All right, man. I don't. This isn't gonna work as well as I would like. But uh, who is this in this picture, man? Not sure. You're not sure? Yeah, just some guy you killed, right? Okay. All right. So uh, with it being a drive-by and whatnot, he's going for ag murder. I don't really. I don't really see any other way around that, so... Alright. Alright, man, that's cool. I guess I didn't really have to get him out of the car, did I? I forgot I could question him while he's in the car. That's my bad. I still can't question him while I'm in the car, though, because my speedometer. So, uh, we'll see what happens with that. I may end up getting rid of it. Um, I really like it. But, uh, it's not super necessary. So, alright. Let's check his record. Bruce Dickinson. Expired license. He did have a concealed handgun permit. It doesn't matter. Uh, possession of fentanyl. So he's got a felony, but, um, he's got a felony one. He shouldn't even be out yet, but oh well. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to, I'm not going to charge him with weapons under disability for the simple fact that I don't know that he had a weapon. We didn't find one on him. He might have ditched it. So, all right, but we're going to, we're going to go ahead and charge him. I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, uh, let me get him charged and then let's do the court thing. All right, so we're out in front of the Rockford Fire Department this time. So one thing I just realized is the uh, the mental subject who tried to kill us, I didn't check my inventory. We picked up his weapon. He had a Glock 18. So that's something else we actually could have charged him with, but uh, I don't think it's going to matter. We have five. First was uh, Dion Banks. Dion Banks tried to kill us. Um, he We charged him with felonious assault, attempt to commit an offense, and attempt to commit a major offense. So this is for the arson, and this is for the attempting to kill us. That's obviously for attempting to kill us. That's for carrying a concealed weapon and then for discharging gun at a peace officer. He's doing 94 years and four months. He was found not guilty carrying a concealed weapon, though. Maybe he had a CCW and I missed it. I'm not sure. Um, but whatever. He's still doing uh, He's still doing all this, though. 79 years for his attempt to kill us and 16 months for his attempt to commit uh, an F4 arson violation. So judge was fairly lenient in that regard, but not this one. So what is he? He's 20. So he will be, what, 104, 114. He'd be like 114 when he gets out, right? 94 plus 20. So 94 plus 20. Yeah, 114, I thought so. So yeah, wow. Now he ain't getting out. That's life. That's basically a life sentence. Forks for me. James Monroe. Um, I forget how he came into contact with him, actually, but he had four guns on him. I two or three guns. I do remember. The, oh, he was the crazy guy. He was the supposedly naked man who was not naked, standing in the middle of the road being a doofus, and he had three guns on him. He ends up doing two years. He's found not guilty on the third one because I guess the prosecutor felt bad for him, so whatever. But he's doing two years. Um, not a big discrepancy between the uh, the two he, he got at. He, he actually got, so that's nice at least. Um, Connor Johnson ended up charging him with uh, obstruction and failure to disclose personal information. That was a dude we stopped on the on the street to talk to. I saw him blocking traffic too, and he took off from us, so he's gonna do two months. That's fair. I'm surprised he even got two months. I figured he'd do probation, honestly. Uh, Jimmy DeVitrio was the mental dude who tried to kill us. That's the second dude who tried to kill us today. It was a bad day. Um, we charged him with felonious assault and attempted murder. Um, we charged him with possession of crack cocaine. I forgot to test it on screen, but it was crack. Or it, it, it was powder cocaine. Um, it was uh, 5,000 grams. So that's uh, definitely hitting the 100 grams plus. Carrying a concealed, li carrying a concealed firearm and receiving stolen property for the stolen gun. Um, and we could have charged him with uh, possession of destructive devices as well. 
And uh, I actually should have charged him a uh, gun discharge at Peace Officer. He did discharge the weapon, and it did hit us in the armor, actually. I went back and watched. But he's, I mean, he's doing life. There's no way he's not, exactly. So he's doing at least 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. He's doing at least 20 to life. So that's a that's a pretty pretty normal sentence for this for this kind of charge. Uh, and then Bruce Dickinson, I was only able to charge him with discharge of a firearm at a felony three. That's basically what you'd get for a drive by. If you discharge a weapon on the road or from a vehicle on a public road, and it creates a serious chance of physical harm, it creates a chance of physical harm. Then it would be a felony three. If it hurts somebody, it's a felony two. If it seriously hurts or kills somebody, it's a felony one. So. But anyway, um, aggravated murder as well for the picture of the uh, the dead guy he had. I'm going to assume that these guys, him and whoever the outstanding person in the uh, the Aston Martin was, I'm going to assume they were out um, trying to kill members of the Losis Tech because I probably could have charged him with uh, criminal gangs or participating in criminal gang, but uh, we didn't have any. I, I, yeah, I should have asked him if he was affiliated with anybody. That's my bad. Um, I kind of just decided maybe they were some ripoff of the Boondock Saints or something, so... All right, he's getting. I mean, he's doing life. He's doing three to life. <laughs> so, I mean, great. That's fine. So, all right. Well, that's gonna pretty much do it for this episode. Of Devin plays LSPDFR. I gotta tell you guys, this this episode was incredibly hard to do for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, it took me two days to get this to record some 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 decent content. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, it. Um, don't know what we're gonna do but, next. Uh, do know I'm gonna switch the uh, the LSPD control. cars out from the Chicago what to probably uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, per user done. request. If you got something you want to see, you need to let me know so I can get it done for you. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.